News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Starting today, those who got a wristband at the HEB Park on Tuesday will get their first doses of the Pfizer vaccine. If you got an orange band, vaccinations will be today. For those with a blue one, yours is tomorrow. Green on Friday. Shots will be administered from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. over at the Edinburgh Conference Center at Renaissance. And people ranging in age from 20 to 49 are considered the biggest spreaders of the COVID virus in the U.S. Using location data from cell phones, researchers found ages 35 to 49 accounted for more than 40% of new transmissions, and those from 20 to 34 were responsible for another 35%. Here in Texas, we can see that 14,000 cases reported are within those in their 20s, more than 15,000 cases from those between 30 to 39, and over 13,000 cases from those in their 40s. And McCountain Police need your help finding a missing teenager. 13-year-old Arlene Tantu was last seen on Sunday. Police say she ran away from home and was last seen near the 1200 block of North 22nd and a half street in McAllen. Tantu is described as a Hispanic female with long black hair, brown eyes, and is 4'11". If you have any information, call McAllen Crime Stopper 687-8477. Your forecast for today is breezy and warm. Temperatures near the 80s. That's your News in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.